I told you to run. I had you'd be dead. All right, people, you have just seen a clip from Snow White and the Huntsman starring Kristen Stewart. And Kristen is here. So how convenient. We had a clip of your movie, and now you're here. <laughs> Perfect. Isn't it great? Oh, man, uh, how'd you do this? I just, this is the magic of technology It today. all worked out. It really does. <laughs> Anyway, you're playing Snow White. This Snow White that you're playing, she's going around taking names and kicking ass. She you is. Know? She really is. I mean, mm. this isn't the Snow White we all knew growing up. What was, it? was this you? <laughs> was this you? You just came to them and said, no, I'm not doing any sort of <laughs> princessy Snow White. No. No, it was such a good idea. I, I kind of, I, I was so desperate to be a part of it. It had so much potential, I think. I think it's so cool to do an action movie that kicks ass and you've mm -hmm. got a girl in the center of it, but, but, but she's not reveling in the ass kicking. You know what I mean? It's like, we, you know, really very just essentially female, very classic Snow White, to be honest. It's just that we put her in a world that's a lot more dangerous and see if she can survive it. And I think it's like much more interesting to watch nowadays anyway. I, I don't think anyone would have wanted to root for somebody who was sweeping up a house and taking care of dwarves. I think it, you want to see someone become that perfect person, not have it so easy. Yeah, I can't see your Snow White singing, Someday My Prince Will Come. And no. off to his castle will go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, not, yeah. not my Snowy. No, it's just not it. Mm -mm. So who approached you about it? I was doing Breaking Dawn at the time mm -hmm. and very unwilling to look at anything else. I, I was so completely caught up in, in Breaking Dawn and finishing and... Um, it yeah, it's been, a long, it's been a long time. Yeah. First time I met you was 2008. Wow. And you were just starting. Yep, that you was You know, it with all. the twilight. It was beginning yep. to come into the world. And mm -hmm. look, 100 years later, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and you're still finishing Breaking Dawn I in know. the Twilight Saga. But who would dare interrupt you and come in and say, I want you to be Snow White? Blasted Universal. That Joe <laughs> Roth. Ugh. It was the script that was so important. It was like, you've got to read this, not miss this opportunity. And I was like, what's it called? And when they said Snow White, I was like, Really? I, I, what, are you, like, what is anyone going to get from that? And I, it wasn't something that I watched growing up. You know, I, it wasn't something that I really like connected to. And um, then Rupert Sanders, the director, came up and talked to me in Vancouver and brought this sort of five-minute short version of what the movie was going to be and where it was going to live. Sort of, it was he showed the darkness and the light of of the world that Snow White lives in. And how does he have a five-minute version before I know. <laughs> or even cast in it? You know? It was incredible. It's yeah. how he got the job. <laughs> he really, um, very ambitious considering he didn't, it, was, it, was, it wasn't a sure shot. He made this thing, he put so much into it, and he didn't have the job yet. And it's, it's, you know, it's why everyone jumped on. I mean, he can choose all of these images that are really very, for whatever reason, evocative. And like, they, they, they cause a lot of feeling and a lot of thought. But a lot of visual guys like that kind of stop there. They don't know why. They mm -hmm. can't tell you what they feel. They don't really want to know what you feel. They just want to create those images. He's so aware. I mean, he was just so kind of in love with the story, I guess. It was very important to him to really understand it. He really has both sides of the coin. Visual in the sense that he came from the commercial world. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, they're usually not very story oriented. It's usually kind of up to you. So that's the way. If people want to come up to you on the street and want to make their first movie, that's the way to do it. 
just yeah. buttonhole you and say, you know, I have a I'm short about version. story. I have a short <laughs> version yeah. first, so you can see visually what it looks like. <laughs> right. Well, now I heard a lot about injuries for you. Mm -hmm. Now you're wearing you're wearing pants and a jacket, so are you covering massive <laughs> scars? You know. No. <laughs> I did hurt myself quite a bit. We all really, really like threw ourselves into this. It was like, whenever you see us cold or shivering or scared or uncomfortable, we are. It's definitely not being. So it's no acting at all. So me and a role so critic much. shouldn't give you any credit <laughs> nope. for that. It's just you freezing. <laughs> give it to the director, man. <laughs> put, put someone in the right environment. And like, it's just as long as you have an imagination, man. It was like, I, I think I pulled every muscle in my whole body. I, I destroyed my thumb. Looks okay. It's very different to the other one. Is it? <laughs> oh, it's yeah. two really different thumbs. Look at this. It's the it's very yeah. bulbous at the base, if you notice. Look it's at pointed that. Pointed here. Mm. You've been completely damaged. <laughs> yeah. You know, Thumbelina is not your next <laughs> film. <laughs> it's nope. Just, it's not. It's not going to happen. <laughs> no. Nah. They tell you this requires you to ride horses, and it requires you to do that. Were you one of those actors who say, "Sure, I can do it." I did initially, I was like, yes, absolutely anything. Lying. I would do anything. Mm -hmm. um, anything for a part. Yeah. <laughs> but then when it came down to that last second and, and it was like, okay, sign your name on the dotted line. It's a lot of responsibility. I mean, you, uh, clearly you should never accept a part unless you think you can, you're gonna let a whole lot of people down if, if you uh, are not up to the task. And <laughs> so. yeah, and um, n including yourself, obviously. But uh, the horse situation was something that I never got over. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a case of like conquering one's fear. I was terrified to the bitter end. Like, it's just so not my thing, that dynamic horse and rider is, it's so, I, ugh, I don't wanna tell this big beast what to do. I'd rather take the saddle off, watch it run around the pasture. I get on the horse and he literally is just like, oh, idiot. I'm not going to listen to anything this girl says. <laughs> <laughs> you just knew it right yeah, away. Yeah, instantly. <laughs> so when did you and the horse finally reach some kind of agreement that uh, even though he thought you were an idiot, mm. um, that you were going to get through this? Right. Did it ever happen? <laughs> I think at a certain point he did sort of stop trying to... It was like he was resolved to the fact that I was going to be on him for longer than he would <laughs> like. Um, so it stopped feeling like he was going to throw me off. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe that last moment, my last scene, when I was like, thank you, Rusty, never again. Mm. Then he was cool with me. And when <laughs> okay. I was like, I'm never getting back on, I promise. <laughs> never intended to happen again. <laughs> yeah, I won't do exactly. this ever. I would think you would try to treat the horse like uh, directors have treated you. Mm. You know, you could have done a David Fincher on him from oh, hey. Panic, yeah, mm -mm, like that. Right. Sean Penn, you know, mm. and just dealt with what the horse was doing as a character. Right. This would have been hilarious to me to have done, and you didn't, you missed that opportunity. I know, I don't know what's wrong with me. Next, next horse you're going to do Snowy it. Snowy just found her way in too much, you know, I couldn't, couldn't be the strong arm. <laughs> Your Snow White's been locked in a tower mm. forever. Yeah. This is, she hasn't had a lot of good times growing up. No, yeah, mm -hmm. few and far between. It's now, funny. Did you feel that tower thing yourself? I mean, because you grew up in this business. Yeah, there is something really not to be envied. You know, when you see people that want to be kind of part, part. I, I love the idea of being part of a whole. You mm -hmm. know, I, I like it's kind. Of, it's why I love this movie. Um, it's so strange for me to be put on a uh, sort of separate plane than than people that share something that I really love too. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like, well, the reason we like it is because we're similar, and also just the idea that she does everything. Her whole, uh, she's composed. She breathes for others. That's like everything about her. She's not ideally selfless. That, I mean, because that would be hard to root for, but mm -hmm. kind of the closest that you could possibly get to that, yet she's not able to be a part of it. Do you know what I mean? She'll, she'll, she'll never experience what they've experienced. She was locked up for it. Mm -hmm. She'll always be royal. She'll always be kind of young and naive. She didn't, you know what I mean? Just because of those years in jail. And I, that feeling is very it, it was interesting to play. I don't know, just um, kind of sad and weird, and, but, but very defining and she's very cool. I assume you're going to the MTV Movie Awards. Yes, yes I am. I mean, come on. I mean. Best movie? Of course Best I am. Best <laughs> uh, Yep, that's right. Do you have a stake in that? Do you want that award? Come on. It'd be kind of. It's kind of interesting that the best kiss for Breaking Dawn Part One is the wedding one. Right. Yeah, and it's it got that amazing song. Now I found you as bird, I 
do like this Bird American. This is the weirdest song to ever play at a wedding, I which know. also played at the prom. Which is so cool. When I first met you and Rob Pattinson, it was just beginning. It didn't happen mm. yet. It was just about to happen. Mm -hmm. But now you guys have an identity. Your case do. He's our Pats. <laughs> Who are these creatures? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. How do you look at them? Are they so separate from who you are in life that you can't recognize them? I don't even know who you're talking about. Yeah, well, they're just <laughs> like, other people. No, that, but that's the other thing is I, I, I think it's so weird when people suddenly do have these completely separate personalities that they've cultivated and, and like delivered to the world. It's so not right and weird and I'm not, I, I'm not a fan of anyone who mm -hmm. seems to do that. It's like every, everyone who I look up to and admire, they're clearly doing stuff because they like it and it's, and it's worth it to them and so it's something worthwhile for others and it's coming from a real place and like as soon as you think you're so interesting and so, like so worth watching like that you're this formed personality <laughs> it's so weird to me it's so embarrassing. So anything you do is just perfect it's like living a reality show isn't it? No? I guess so. Except you're yeah. not doing it so that's good. Well, Kristen, I always end the show with everybody that's here, including you, for two times, and I've, I've just completely, it doesn't work. You always say no. Oh, no. Yeah. And this is the third time. Uh oh. I ask everyone to sing a snippet of some song that means something to them. Hi-ho. Hi-ho. <laughs> uh, do you know what I'm saying? It's off to work we go. <laughs> right? There you that go. It. It's a duet It's now. a duet. We did it. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. So you're not going to do... Uh, Anything a little more, no Joan Jett is gonna come out of you? I'm not growling on this show, Not no. growling, not <laughs> What do I have to do? Do uh. I have to throw that popcorn? <laughs> I'm you gonna know? put that popcorn over my head if <laughs> I have to sing, seriously. That would be a good moment to do that. <laughs> yeah. But if that's the way you wanna go out with hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to work we go. There you go. Then I just hope it's good work. And I'm wishing that for I you. I hope so too, yeah. seriously. So thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Yeah, <laughs> thanks great. for having me. Look at this. It doesn't look, it feel it. Yeah, it doesn't look edible at all. It's very, yeah. oh. I can't even.